Hey, Ryan here with Accelerate Marketing. Hope you're doing well. I am going to click off of this so I can show you my screen. So here's a, um, I, I, what I want to show you is exactly how you can optimize your Google local service ad campaign so that you can get more leads than your competitors so that you can show up first in the Google local service ad section. I'm sure you want that because when you do, you're going to get more leads. You're going to get more clicks. Here's how you do it. And it actually, Google says directly in their um, terms of, well, actually in their instructions here about ad rankings, you can see here there's factors, factors that can affect your rankings with Google local services include your review score and the number of re reviews you receive. That's number one. There's a reason why it's number one. Get more reviews. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Your responsiveness to, com to customer inquiries. Number two, so reviews responsiveness, and we call it the three R's and radius, the proximity to the potential, the potential customer's locations. And then all, obviously your office hours, you can, you can, can affect your uh, rankings because you'll go up and down based on, you know, whether or not you're open and whether or not you received a serious or repeated complaints about your business. So the three that, that are really the most important is reviews, response time, and proximity. So let me show you how we can affect these. Um, here's how you, you affect your response time, okay? First, what you wanna do is you wanna move all of your leads from left to right, okay? You wanna move them to either completed or archived. How do you do that, okay? So when you get a new caller, it'll be in the new status, and then once when you're working the, the lead, it'll go into active here. So you can see that this particular account has two active calls, okay? These came in on, um, one came in today, uh, 1244 and then July 29th. And you can see here <clears throat> that you can show the recording, you can listen to it. Um, but this was, this, this lead has not been charged. So this one, this really needs to just be archived. I mean, what you would, I mean, you don't have anything about this, this client, this person at all. What I would do is I would call this person back and see what they called about. They didn't leave a message, but you know, I mean, still I would call them um, and I would archive them, okay? I would archive them and, and call them before, potentially before you archive them to see if you actually end up booking them. If you book them, because here's the thing, you don't want a lot of, you don't want a lot of people in the archive section because what that means to Google is that you're not really working your leads effectively. You want as few leads here in this archive section. Now it's okay to have a few, like this one here. This is a, um, it's just some, you know, auto dialer. You know, you can listen to it. You can Network hear it. Organization. Be expensive. It's, just, it's just a junk call and Google knows that. So they're not gonna charge you for that. It says again, this lead has not been charged. You're not gonna call that number back because you know it's just a, it's a junk lead. So, but, but what you need to do is you need to do something with these new and active leads either um, identify them as being booked or identify them some way, shape, in some way, shape or form that you're, you're working on them. You're doing something, add notes, add a email and a customer name. If you get it, when you get it. Okay. So you either archive them or mark them as booked. And that's what you want to do. That's how you move these leads through your funnel, so to speak, or your, um, your pipeline. Okay. Now this one, same thing. I mean, you want to either, you know, this lead has not been charged. So this one has been charged though. Um, you can see this, this one there's, it's been charged because there was nothing identified here. It, there, it looked like it went to voicemail. Um, and so you're the, this is where you'll get charged for these. If you don't identify them or move them into archived, I would call this person back as well. Okay. And then see, you know, see what's going on. I mean, you got to call these people back no matter what. And then you decide what you want to do, either book them, complete that, complete them or archive them. But you got to, you want, the goal is, is to get them to completed or get them to archive if they're, um, if they're not uh, good leads. Now, what you can do with this one is you can dispute it. Okay. If this legitimately, this person left a, didn't leave a voicemail. I listened to the call already. You can dispute this call and say, no, it's not somebody that, you know, I, they didn't leave a message. Um, and there's all information here. Okay. If you look at, at um, about cost and payments, 
you can see all of the rules about the valid leads. What is a valid lead? Okay, types of uh, charged leads that are eligible for credit. Okay, here's all those. Okay, so I'll leave you with this so you guys can see all this, but this is all right here. Lead was received outside of, okay, you can see that there's examples of, uh, of invalid leads. So you've got all that right there at your fingertips so you know exactly you know, what to do, but you can dispute these. That's the beauty of this, of this system is, is you only pay for qualified leads and you don't pay for clicks and you don't pay up front. That's the beauty of this. So that's how you really wanna work the response time strategy there, okay? That's how you do it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to reviews, since that's really the most important thing to get more, to, to actually get higher rankings here. Now, you've received reviews. These are all reviews that you've received, you know, potentially from like your, probably these probably, these all came in from your Google My Business page, okay? But here's, here's two reviews or two people that are in the active status. So what they're saying is, is well, if they're active, you can ask for the, you can ask for a review. So you click on that, that little um, link right there. If you have, they, obviously you have to have the person's email address, their name, their job type, the service location, and then you gotta confirm that they, that the client agreed to receive this email, and then you send it to ask for a review. That's how you ask for reviews. That's, I would do that with everybody that you can that's here. Ask for reviews for everybody that you possibly can. Create those reviewable moments to get reviews, to get more reviews. Now the other thing is, is you can go um, to the reports section here. Um, you can see we were charged for that one lead, $25. And um, you can see here's, here's the list of leads that were charged. It was received on 724. And that's how you keep track of that. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Here's the, the profile and the budget. You guys have access to this as well. Definitely upload as many images as you possibly can here. Now this is a, a bid uh, strategy here. This is, a, a, this is where it's a little bit different. Uh, it's a new beta uh, type of Google local service ad that allows you to, um, to bid as opposed to just having a flat rate, which Google determines, you can actually maximize leads um, this is, uh, which is recommended by Google, because what happens is, is Google sets your bid and gets you the most leads for your budget. So you just basically set your budget and then you set maximize leads and Google basically will spend your budget and maximize the number of leads for you. Now you can also set max, uh, max per lead. So you can, you can set the max bid that you're willing to bid per lead. So you don't spend more than that ever. So this is not gonna optimize your spending and it's probably not gonna optimize the number of leads that you get. So there's two options there. So you can maximize leads or you can, you can set the max uh, lead, uh, per lead amount that you're willing to pay. That's if, you're, if this is available to you. This is, this is just starting out, okay? So not everybody's gonna get access to that. Here's where you add your photos. Please add as many photos as you can. You can, um, um, you can put those in there. And um, that's really it. And then the other thing is, is, is the radius. This is what affects radius, is the areas that you serve, okay? You wanna serve as big of an area as you possibly can. Um, and, and that's really it on that. I mean, if you, if you now if you're a service-based business and you have field representatives, then there's a strategy that we can implement where we actually leverage the uh, field reps as additional locations for your business that will help you further actually rank in more areas because that's the key is, is if somebody searches from their phone over here on the map and somebody is serving that area, but you're not, you're over here, then they're not, you're not gonna get the lead. But if you have a field rep that's over here and, you, and, and we mark this as an area you serve and it also identifies that he is, that you have a separate extra location there, then you're gonna get that, you're gonna get that lead. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. And remember, ratings or reviews, response time, and radius. Those are the three things that help you get more leads on Google local services. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm.